Around 400 mercenaries from the private US security firm Academy are involved in the operation against anti-government activists in Ukraine. That is according to a report in the German newspaper Bild am Sonntag, citing an intelligence source. Earlier, the German intelligence service told the government about the mercenaries' involvement in the operation. However, it's not clear who commands and pays the private military contractors. Academy, previously known as Blackwater, gained notoriety after alleged atrocities committed during the Iraq war. The firm had earlier been accused of involvement in the Ukrainian crisis. An unverified video that supposedly shows US private contractors operating in the city of Donetsk emerged in March. The security company has not commented on the latest revelations, but previously denied any involvement in the Ukrainian crisis. I'm now joined live by foreign policy expert Daniel McAdams to speak more on the subject. Hello to you. What are your thoughts on these recent revelations? Why would the government in Kiev involve foreign mercenaries? Well, I think you have a lot of uh, Kiev-appointed oligarchs in the East who are very, very wealthy, and they have an interest in uh, trying to quell this unrest. What's interesting about these last two stories we've seen about U.S. involvement is they've both come from, from major German newspapers, and it makes you wonder whether the Germans are not getting nervous that the U.S. is pushing this too far. We saw, for example, last week in Bild, uh, a story that uh, dozens of CIA officers were involved in helping put down the, the, uh, the unrest in the East. And now we've seen this other story in a German paper. So I think under the surface, you're seeing a lot of uh, very uh, concerned German people and German businessmen for what's happening. What impact could the presence of these private contractors affect the situation in Ukraine, Daniel? Well, I think we've seen a change in the tactics of the, uh, the, you wouldn't call them military because every picture that I've seen, they look like some sort of ragtag militia, very violent. But you see a change in their activities. They're burning police stations down. Uh, they are shooting. I saw at least three unarmed people shot today on YouTube. Uh, they're, they're, it seems to be their, their purpose is to foment chaos and to destabilize the East. Uh, so they're not really about stabilization, but destabilization. Now, as I mentioned earlier, contractors from Blackwater were accused of atrocities in Iraq. Why would a company with such a track record be invited onto Ukrainian soil in the first place? Well, because they're not connected to governments. Uh, they don't uh, abide. They don't feel they need to abide by international law. Uh, they are uh, able to use extreme violence. We saw what happened in Fallujah. Uh, you saw a city decimated by these people. So I think that's uh, when you want to have muscle that's not accountable, uh, that's who you hire. Let's talk a little bit more about the Western reaction now to the developments in Ukraine. We've seen some disturbing images of government troops opening fire at unarmed civilians during the referendum. Are we going to see any condemnation from Western states, do you think? Well, as is the... the, uh, the common practice when the U.S. doesn't like a vote that's coming up. They've already condemned it beforehand. The State Department issued a press release yesterday saying that it condemned this referendum that was being held by, quote, armed separatist groups. But anyone with a computer and an internet can see that the armed <clears throat> organizations are, are not the people in the streets. As I said, I've seen at least three people killed today. Uh, the, uh, these, these militia we're shutting down polling stations and, and shooting people. I think the U.S. State Department seems to be believing its own propaganda for some reason. It's funny that they did support an armed insurrection in Kiev where there was no election, but you do have a protest in the East. They're trying to hold an election. The U.S. condemns it. Now, the circumstances are not great for the elections in the East, of course, but they will not be any better for the May 25th presidential race. And just briefly, the U.S. and indeed the EU have said they won't recognize the referendum results. Why does the opinion of all these people not count? Well, the U.S. loves to support democracy, except when there's a danger of people voting the wrong way. Look what we saw in Egypt uh, not that awfully long ago. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it really is a hypocrisy on the part of the U.S. government. I think it's, it's becoming more and more obvious to the rest of the world. It's damaging our reputation. Daniel McAdams, Executive Director at the Ron Paul Institute, we thank you for your time.